All right, folks, we're back for the weekly challenge, and we are playing a non-best hand match point tournament. Uh, as it turns out, we still get an 11 count in third chair, but this doesn't have to be the best hand. In fact, we'll see in the upcoming deals that we will not certainly be having the best hand each time. But in third chair, in any chair, this is a one spade opening bid, right? We have an 11 count, but we have a six card spade suit. Our partner's making a negative double showing four hearts. We're just going to rebid our spades here. Partner's three club bid should just be natural-ish. Um, I mean, what the heck are we supposed to do here? Uh, I've already shown a six card spade suit. I'm just going to bid three hearts and show three hearts. And now partner kicks it into four. I would I would expect some off shape hand from partner like five, five uh, or this. Wow. Jeez. Four. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Uh, well, let's have some fun, right? So we're going to play the ace of diamonds. Um, we're going to rough a diamond in our hand for sure. And honestly, I'm going to take a, a roughing finesse in spades as well. The job here is going to just tr be to try to avoid any diamond loser. And okay, this is looking pretty good so far. And I get to rough that low. I'm going to play that. The problem is we're going to get tapped out on this hand. But maybe, maybe, maybe we can just about take some number of tricks before we do get tapped out. Question is, do we take a club finesse? I think we should. I think we should definitely take a club finesse here. If it loses, that's fine. They're going to draw Trump for sure. Now I'm going to try to rough a spade and dummy. It's, it's not going to survive, is it? Oh, it did. Nice. I'm going to play a club back to my hand. Oh, there it is. That's why it survived there. And we took eight tricks so far. I think that's probably pretty good for this deal. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do after three clubs or what the robot is asking us to do. Uh, it looked like, I mean, it's just such a bizarre hand because it's a colossal misfit. We have King, Queen, Jack, six, the spades, and our partner's void. Um, and we, the best suit we have a fit in is clubs, right? Uh, and we, I guess the only chance we have to play that is at the three club level. And here, partner is a passed hand. But at this point, you know, it's it's hard to think that passing three clubs can be right, especially when partner has a chance. If they're not a fan of hearts, that they can pick off three spades. I mean, the fact that they are a passed hand means that maybe we could have sweated out the idea to pass three clubs. Uh, but in this case, this showing some sort of invitational values means that, you know, I couldn't resist bidding three hearts. We'll see what happens with the robots at the other table. But for a non-best hand tournament, uh, this is the one of the best hands we can ever expect to see. Uh, that's 23. Is that right? Yeah, 23 points. How do we do this, folks? Well, we start with two clubs for sure. And then what would you rebid, folks? Make it. It's two no Trump, folks. 22 to 24 balanced. This is how we show these hands. We do not want to be bidding two spades and just park us off to a one suited hand. We want to show balanced distribution. And then if we have some sort of major suit fit, we're going to be able to usually find it in ways like this. Stamen, transfers. And now partner has a perfect idea of not just the range of our values, 22 to 24, but the shape of our hand. We're going to answer three spades. Partner's going to bid three no trump, and we are going to stick there. And here we are. No need to get it too excited, folks. You've shown this massive hand, so look at partner's hand, folks. That's what you can expect, right? They know how many points you have. They're going to place it at the right level. Uh, this looks pretty darn good, folks. How many winners can you count? I'm going to tell you right now, if you need a time, I can count nine winners, folks. I have five clubs because I know I have nine of them, and I have the top four. I have two spades and a heart and a diamond. And here's my plan, folks. I am going to play clubs. I'm going to play all five of them, and then I'm going to give up a spade. I'm going to play all the clubs first because I don't want to let them know what might be good for them to be holding on to at the end and what might be bad for them. And at this point, I haven't seen any spade. Oh, there we go. There's a spade, folks. And now I'm just going to plunk down this 10 of spades, and I'm going to let it go. Right? Maybe I could have played the ace there and won the other one. Oh, that's even better. Now they're going to lead another spade, and I'm going to see if spades break. I'm guessing they are going to break because of the lead there, but even if they don't, I can give up another one, and I still have these red cards as entries. So here, I'm going to circle back to this on the results stream, folks. Well, let me just show you the end of this hand. It should be 12 rippers. And there we go. That should be a reasonable result. Probably an average, but uh, 
we'll, we'll see what the robots choose to do at the other table. But let's take a peek into this. Uh, here, we we have a beautiful start to the hand, right? If they get off to a diamond or uh, even a heart lead, heart lead's not that devastating. A diamond would be awful for us. Um, and if they get off to that lead, we're going to be in a lot more trouble. But what they chose with their hand with this nice 10 count to the left, they chose a passive lead. You can't really blame them, folks. We have 22 to 24 balanced. This is not an unreasonable choice from their hand. What they're trying to avoid is giving up tricks in these other suits, considering that there's a 22 to 24 count to their right. Um, but notice that the whole goal is to count your winners and then see if there's opportunity for extra tricks. On this hand, we have nine winners right from the bat, and the only suit we're really going to be likely getting extra tricks in is spades, and that's going to divide on the break of the suit. Uh, frequently, we would attack spades right away, but here we have an even better uh, strategy because we can run clubs first. And then maybe, it didn't matter, the spades were 3-3 three, three always, but maybe if they were 4-2 and someone pitched a spade, we're back to another extra trick or two. So there we go, folks. Making five uh, should be average, but we'll see what the robots do on Friday. And that's it for day one, folks. I will see you the rest of the week and for the rest of this challenge. Remember, non-best hand match points. Uh, it'll be interesting, I'm sure, in the next eight hands. So join me for those, and I'll see you soon, folks.